Hey YouTube, it's the Greybeard here. I went and bought myself another gadget from Facebook, from a Facebook ad. It's a high pressure ionic shower head. And it looked really, really interesting. It was a good price, just over, just over $20 with the uh, shipping. Um, and I thought it would be fun to get. So I'm going to do a review here and unpacking and setting up and we'll try it out. Goodness, I wonder if I'll take a shower in front of you folks. But we shall see. And here we have the package that it came in from Canada Post. I've blacked out all my personal information such as my mailing address etc. Simple little uh, bubble pack. And let's cut this one open and see what we have inside here. I ordered a blue one, and it certainly did come in blue. Nothing else in the package. Ah, and it's already packed. Got these special little well, they're supposed to produce minerals and things like that to put in on the body and make things good. Um, they say that this is a high pressure, like really high pressure. And that's because of the tiny, tiny, and I mean tiny, holes that are in the shower head itself. Um, it's kind of hard to see. There's not much. They are really, really small. But any which way, it should fit on my shower head. It looks pretty. Now the interesting thing that I found with this here is when I was doing research, trying to get some pictures to put into this video, I suddenly realized how many different types of shower heads there are like this. There are ones that have LED. Now there's something in here. I don't know what that is. Maybe this has an LED. There's ones that have LEDs for temperature showing different colors for temperature. And some that have seven different colors and I would suppose that they are adjustable or changeable uh, according to your mood I suppose. But seven different colors? Well, I suppose that would be interesting. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to show you my current shower head, which I'm quite happy with. And uh, we'll attach this one to it and see how it works. Now, we're back in my shower. This is my current handheld shower. It's got a large... Um, I think there's five different functions on it. Everything from a fine mist to uh, an intense spray to the regular shower and of course, of course the pulsating which I absolutely adore. But again it was fairly cheap. I used to have a water pick which I thought was really good until I got this one and for the price compared to the water pick I like this one. But it's a simple little attachment down here and the uh, High pressure ionic shower one should fit quite nicely on the end of this one here. So I'm going to get this all taken apart and put it together with this one on there and we'll see how this works. Okay, we tried it, or I tried it. Sorry, I've got this on my hand and of course I've got my tremors so I'm not. Uh, exactly stable as they say and don't take that the wrong way any which way I tried out the new shower head um, took me a little bit I had to buy a new attachment for it um, I had to put this clamp on because as soon as I turned it on the force of the uh, shower pushed it backwards and it fell out um, I don't like it I don't like it at all 
Not one little bit. Number one is the, uh, well, the pressure is good. The pressure works. But um, the little holes are, are not perfect. They are, uh, they spray all over the goddamn place. I had, I've got water up here on the ceiling, stretching right over the shower curtain. So I had dripping down below. Um, I didn't like it. I really didn't like it. The, um, the effect uh, felt kind of good. There are uh, three different settings on it. And of course you can't see them here. There is that little adjuster that I pointed out earlier. And that changes it from a tight stream to a stream and a spray, and it's supposed to. And then the third setting is just supposed to be a spray. Unfortunately, with the changes, or with the, the little switch, it's not working. I get the, the tight spray, or stream. I get the spray in the stream, and that's it. So, all in all, for the money spent, it wasn't worth it. it. wasn't worth a damn thing. I've got water on my ceiling, which I do have to wipe down, because I don't want to have water up there. I sure as hell don't want mold forming. I got water that's spraying over the top here, which means that I can get water down on my floor. I get something nice to say, but I have absolutely nothing nice to say about this high pressure ionic filtration piece of junk. Maybe it's just mine. I don't know, but I got a damn good feeling that a lot of them are like that. Anyway, I'm going to let you go here. It wasn't worth the money, it wasn't worth the time, it wasn't worth the effort, and it was a real pain in the butt. But I got to go because I got a ceiling to wipe, walls to wipe, and check out the floor to make sure that it's not wet. Have a good one. This is the Greybeard.